If you want to work with a photo in Lightroom CC, you first have to add that photo to the Lightroom CC ecosystem. In this lesson, I'll show you how to do that in Lightroom CC on a computer, although keep in mind that you can add photos to Lightroom CC from a mobile device or from the web, too. We're going to add the sample files for this tutorial, which you can download from the Adobe web page for this tutorial. But what I'm about to show you applies to adding any photos to the Lightroom CC desktop app. When you first launch Lightroom CC on your computer, don't be surprised if you see some photos already in Lightroom CC. Photos that are in the cloud, like this photo that I added to the Lightroom app on my iPhone, should automatically show up in Lightroom CC on your computer too. When you want to add more photos or videos to Lightroom CC on your computer, go to this plus symbol on the left side of the workspace and click. Now, if you had a device like a camera or a camera memory card connected to your computer, you would see a menu at this point from which you could choose to add files directly to Lightroom CC from that device. Otherwise, clicking this plus symbol opens a Finder window like this on a Mac or a File Explorer window on Windows. From here, you'll navigate to the folder on your computer or on a connected external drive that contains the photos you want to add to Lightroom CC. For example, to add these sample files for this tutorial, navigate to the location to which you downloaded the sample files. Mine happen to be on my desktop, so I'll select the sample files folder there and then I'll click the Review for Import button down here. If you're on Windows, you'll click the Add Folder button. That opens this preview window, where you'll see small previews of all the photos in the selected folder. The blue check marks on these photos mean that they will all be added to Lightroom CC. If there's a photo that you're sure you don't want, then just uncheck it, like this. We actually want to bring in all the sample files, so I'm going to go up to the top of this window and check Select All. Over on the right, there's a scroll bar. I'll use it to scroll down. So I can show you that in the bottom row, there's one photo that has a gray overlay and no check mark. That's one that Lightroom CC has recognized as a duplicate of a photo that I already have in my Lightroom CC. So it won't be added again to the program. Other than that, there is really only one other option in this window. If you want, you can go up to the top and choose to include all of these photos in an album during the import process. An album is a group that lets you see the selected photos all in one place. Putting photos in an album is something you could do later inside Lightroom CC, but doing it here saves you that step later. So let's go ahead and make an album for these sample files so you can easily access them in Lightroom CC. If you already have some albums, when you click this button, you'll see them here in a list. We don't have any yet. If you want to make a new album, you can do that by clicking New. Let's name this new album Toot1 for the first tutorial in this series, and then just click Create. All that's left to do is to go up to the top right and click the blue button to add all these photos to Lightroom CC. That closes the preview window and takes you back to the main Lightroom CC workspace. Over on the right, you'll see a cloud icon. The blue animation on that icon means that your photos are being uploaded to Adobe's cloud. Just how long it takes to upload your photos to the cloud depends on how many photos you have, the size of your photos, and your internet connection. But you can still work on your photos even while they're uploading. Over on the left, I have the My Photos column showing. If your column isn't showing, then click this box icon on the far left. Notice that right now, we're just looking at recently added files. If you want to see all your photos, click All Photos here. And if you ever want to see just the photos in the album that we made, the Toot One album, you can come down to the Albums panel and click Toot One there. So that's all there is to adding photos. Keep in mind that when you do add photos to Lightroom CC from any device, all those photos are automatically uploaded at their full resolution and are stored for you in Adobe's cloud. So if you move the photos that you started with on your computer or camera, that's okay. You can even delete those and your full resolution originals will still be safe and backed up in the cloud and they'll be treated like your master images. You'll have access to them to edit, organize, and share in Lightroom CC on any of your devices.